Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to talk about some things you want to look out for when you're purchasing a pair of sunglasses for inshore fishing, offshore fishing, or maybe you just want a pair of good polarized glasses for when you're outdoors, maybe you play sports. So in this video, I want to give you some tips for choosing the right glasses. So right off the bat, the biggest mistake people make is they order online, they don't know how the glasses actually fit on their face because everybody has a different uh, shape of a face and different frames will work differently for different people. So the biggest advice I can give you is to actually try on a pair of glasses. So actually feel them at the store, put them on, don't just go on Amazon or Costa's website or Oakley's website or whatever company you prefer and just order a pair and hope they work out because nine times out of ten they're not gonna fit your face properly I know when I go to a store and I'm looking for a pair of glasses I'll try on probably ten pairs until I finally uh, find a good pair that actually fits my face right so again number one thing is to actually try them on yourself go to the store and check them out now next is what the lenses are actually made out of they're gonna have some pros and cons usually you're either gonna have an option between a glass lens which is what I have right here or something with a plastic or polycarbonate lens which is very lightweight and I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons of each really quick with the glass lenses you're gonna notice they're advertised as scratch resistant and it holds very true right here I have a lens from a pair of Costas I used to have that actually broke one of the lenses broke so obviously that's a downfall of the glass lenses if they do hit the ground good chance they're going to shatter and they're a lot more expensive to replace than polycarbonate or the plastic lenses. So I just want to show you really quick a scratch test I did on this Costa lens. Again this is a glass lens from an old pair that I had and some of you might cringe but I'm going to take this penny and just go to town on it. I'm going to show you how scratch resistant these lenses are and it's really important to have a good scratch resistant lens because any scratches on a lens can distort your vision. It's going to put your eyes out of focus when you're trying to focus in on something because you're ha having to look through that scratch to actually see what you're looking at. So really quick, see I'm taking that penny to this lens all over the place, tapping on it. I'm just going to wipe it down really quick. And if you see there, there is no scratches on that lens. So that's definitely a good benefit about the glass lenses. However, if you're using glass lenses, you're gonna realize they're a lot heavier, such as these coasters I have on. They're the glass lenses, and what happens is throughout the day, they're so heavy that throughout the day, they'll end up sliding down my face, and I'm constantly having to do this to keep them up on my face. Something you can do to avoid that is get yourself a retainer that has a clip where you can actually tie them tight so that they're snug to your face and they won't fall down and that'll alleviate that problem of having the heavy glass lenses and it falling down your face. Now with the uh, plastic lenses or the polycarbonate lenses you're going to have an issue with scratches because they scratch pretty easily so you do have to take more care of them however the benefit of the polycarbonate or the lightweight lenses is that they're going to be lighter you're not going to have that problem having to push your lenses or your glasses back up onto your face if you start getting sweaty. Also some companies, for example Oakley, they actually have a patent on the rubber that when it gets wet it actually gets tacky so it won't slide off your face. So if you start sweating it'll actually help hold it on there a little better as opposed to what I found with the Costas is when they get wet or sweaty that they'll start sliding down your face and sliding off your face. Now next up is the actual lens color. Which lens is best for which situation? Now for fishermen, it's really important to pick the right color lens because it's gonna help things pop out better as you're looking into the water. For example, a green mirrored lens. As you can see, this one has a green, uh, green mirror finish as well as the ones I have on. And these Oakleys that I have here have that green mirror finish. And if you turn them around, this is the outside of the lens with that green mirror turn them around and you'll notice it's a bronze or a copper or amber color. That uh, copper, amber or bronze color with that green mirror finish is ideal for shallow water. Uh, whether you're fishing in the bays or the rivers or inshore, that's going to be your best color option. 
Next, you would have a very um, yellow colored lens that's good for low light conditions. If you're out there early in the morning or as the sun's going down, that yellow lens is really gonna brighten everything up so you can see better in very low light conditions. Now, a gray colored lens or a gray mirror colored lens, that's going to be more of an all around lens that you can use you know, offshore, inshore, if you're out golfing, if you're riding your bike or anything like that, a gray color lens is very neutral. So you're not gonna get too much of a pop from color contrasts, but it's gonna help reduce that glare. And then if you're looking for a lens for offshore fishing, ideally you're gonna want a lens with a blue mirror finish. It's gonna have that blue mirror on the outside and then the inside, you're gonna have that base color of a gray and that's gonna be more suited for offshore. So just to recap, inshore fishing, a copper or amber color base lens with a green mirror finish, or you can have no mirror finish at all. It could just be a solid amber or bronze or copper color lens for inshore fishing. Then offshore, go with that blue mirror lens with a gray uh, base to the lens. And then if you just want a general all around lens that you can use offshore, inshore, riding your bike, playing sports or anything like that, I would go with a gray lens with a gray uh, mirror finish on it. Now lastly, just to go back around to the beginning where I was talking about fitting the lenses on your face, the biggest test that I do is I'll actually put them on and then I wanna make sure I'm not getting any light coming in from either underneath or on the sides or on the top. Usually if you wear a hat, obviously that'll take care of any light coming in from the top. But you wanna do a little finger test I like to do. And what I like to do is just take my pointer finger, whichever finger, and put it into the corner where the corner of the frame, corner of the lens is. And if you can touch your eye, that's not good. Because if you can stick your finger in there to touch your eye, that means you're gonna get a lot of light coming up from the water glaring into your glasses and actually distorting your view a little bit and you won't get that clarity. So you want to have the most coverage around your eyes as possible. You don't want any uh, big gaps where light can get in because that will definitely hinder your ability to see clearly into the water. Now another thing you can do is get a shirt that has a hood on it. Uh, some of these performance shirts now they have hoodies uh, where you can put the hood up and that'll actually help block some of the light coming in from the sides. Also if you wear a neck gaiter if you bring it up over your head it'll kind of block that light coming in from the sides so you can work around it but in general you're going to want to have a lens or a frame that wraps around your face nicely and no light can get in. And with that being said you want to take a look at the curvature of the lens, how it wraps around your eyes. That's a really big important factor that a lot of people actually overlook and how that lens actually fits in the frame of the glasses. If that lens has too much curve in front of your eyes, it's going to distort your view. Some things are going to kind of look uh, odd shaped. If you ever sit in your car, if you're looking straight ahead and if you kind of look up and look to the side where your window is, where it meets the frame of the window, you might notice a little distortion there. The same thing can happen with your glasses. If there's too much of a curve, it's going to create a lot of distortion and that can affect your vision and it can affect your ability to see clearly. So some companies actually have some patents on the curvature of their lenses, such as Oakley. I actually talked to a guy at iCast and they actually have a patent on the curvature of their lens and nobody else can copy it and it's supposed to give you one of the clearest views out there when looking through your glasses. So a big test you can do when you try on a pair of glasses is put them on, look straight ahead, and do nothing except move your eyes. Look straight up, look straight down, look to the side, look to the left, look to the right, and see if you notice any distortion as you're looking around. And if you don't, you got yourself a good pair of glasses. And lastly, one more test you can do to kind of determine how that lens is sitting in the frame. If you look at the lens from the side, or if you look at it straight, you can kind of see how the lens is almost flat from top to bottom. And then it curves around, going around the side. That's generally how you want the lenses of your glasses to be. You don't want too much of a curve from top to bottom. You want it to sit nice and flat in front of your eyes, and then have a gradual curve as it comes around as to not distort your view. So that will wrap up this video on helping you pick out a good pair of uh, sunglasses, whether you're fishing, offshore, inshore, playing sports, riding your bike, whatever it may be, hopefully these tips can help you out. 
Also, if you're interested in catching more fish in less time, and we guarantee that, definitely take a look at our Salt Strong Fishing Club at saltstrong.com forward slash insider. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Cause fishing, it's in my soul, it was past